my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 36 in this lecture we will try to understand grammar a grammar capital g is defined as four tuple v t s p v means what variables or non terminals they are designated by capital letters t means what t means terminals terminals means small letters they cannot produce anything these are known as terminals isn't it s belongs to v this s is starting symbol this uh, p is finite set of productions for example let me consider this what is this this is grammar capital a goes to bc this is one production another production capital a goes to small a b goes to db b goes to small b capital d goes to small d all these are known as productions how many productions do we have here a goes to bc1 a goes to small a2 b goes to db3 b goes to small b4 capital d goes to small d5 totally there are five productions in this particular grammar what is v v means non terminals this is v v means th these are known as non terminals capital a capital b capital t they can produce something the a b d are known as variables or non terminals small t means terminals these are terminals small a small a cannot produce anything small c it cannot produce anything small v it cannot produce anything small d it cannot produce anything these small letters can be treated as non um, uh, can be treated as terminals isn't it s means what s is start starting symbol or start symbol this grammar starts with a therefore s equal to a since it has all the properties of grammar v t s p it has got v it has got t it has got s p means productions totally we have five productions therefore i can treat uh, this one as grammar isn't it now let me consider one simple production a goes to bc a goes to bc in the place of b i can write db i am replacing b by db isn't it any uh, anyway i cannot write anything in the place of c why because c is small letter it is a eternal symbol in the place of b i can write db isn't it capital d goes to small d therefore in the place of capital d i can write small d capital b goes to small b in the place of capital p i can write small b again i am writing small c this dbc is known as string this string is derived from this particular grammar means this string is a part of the language generated by this grammar grammars can be treated as language generator language generators this particular uh, this particular form this particular form is known as sentential form or intermediate form sentential or intermediate form means before getting this uh, string string means the set of terminals we have different productions all this collection of productions are known as intermediate form or sentential form let me consider one more simple example s goes to s goes to small a capital s small b and s goes to epsilon how many productions do we have here here we have two productions first production is s goes to asb and second production is s goes to epsilon is it possible to derive a string triple a triple b by using above grammar yes now we will we will try to uh, check whether it is possible to generate this particular string s goes to asb just i am writing s goes to asb i need 3as and 3bs therefore just i am writing a like this and i am writing p like this in the place of s again i can write asp just see i am writing in the place of s i am writing asp isn't it now again after this just write this 2 as as it is 2 as as it is and 2 bs as it is 2 bs as it is 
again in the place of s i can write a s b isn't it now again let me check this triple a we have got triple a here i can write triple a here also we have triple b here also i can write triple b in between we have s s goes to epsilon means in the place of s i can write epsilon therefore what you are getting triple a triple b yes this is the string generated by this particular grammar therefore i can say this particular word or this particular string can be generated from the given grammar right linear grammar a grammar capital g equal to vtsp is said to be right linear grammar if all the productions are of the form a goes to x b and a goes to x right linear means there must be only if only one capital letter or variable or non terminal of this form what is this b a comma b belongs to b b means variables this x belongs to t star t means terminals t star means there may be zero terminals or more terminals means all the right all the productions of right hand side must be terminals x belongs to, to that may be epsilon or one or more symbols uh, uh, one or more terminals uh, maybe it is string whose length may be zero may be one may be two may be three may be four like that if you have any capital letter that must be in after this uh, x only this must appear as this capital letter is appearing on right side x, x in in x b b is b is on right side isn't it x is left side b is right side if it appears like this that grammar is lo, is known as right linear grammar now now we will try to understand what is left linear grammar left linear grammar means productions must be of this form a goes to bx or a goes to x this capital letter must appear in bx b is left hand side of bx isn't it only on right hand side of any production must be x x belongs to t star means only terminals including zero number of terminals otherwise if capital letter occurs it must be of this form this form means it to bx in the case of bx b is left side isn't it therefore that is known as left linear grammar now we will try to understand what is regular grammar it is it is one that is either left linear or right linear isn't it for example s yes goes to b a yes x, uh, this is something like small x belongs to t star only terminals s yes goes to a b a this a b a means this is appearing on right side of this word this is x uh, this is capital letter as it is on right side i can say only terminals if if capital letter appears it must be right side therefore it a b a means this a b left side a is right side s goes to epsilon t star x belongs to t star means even null string is allowed therefore this capital letter appears on right side of a b a therefore this can be treated as right linear grammar what about this s goes to capital b capital b small b this capital letter is Uh, is appearing on lhs of this particular uh, production small b capital b, isn't it this capital a appearing left side therefore this can be even null string is allowed therefore this can be treated as left linear grammar isn't it s yes goes to a s yes goes to a can be treated as both left and right linear why because a can be treated as a epsilon if it is a epsilon it must be left linear grammar if it is treated as epsilon a this can be treated as right linear grammar <coughs> linear grammar a grammar in which a grammar in which at most one variable can occur on right hand side of any production without any restriction on position of its variable is known as linear grammar at most one variable in the sense at most one variable uh, means s goes to s goes to a s b at most maximum one meaning of this one is maximum one maximum s goes to s b how many uh, variables is occurring on right hand side only one variable capital s 
S ghost epsilon, if I consider S ghost epsilon, there is no uh, capital letter on right hand side, no problem. At most, uh, at most one variable must have, maximum one variable means there may not be variables, uh, there may, um, variable may not occur on a right hand side of any production, isn't it? S goes to A, there is only one capital letter. S goes to small a capital B, small a capital B means only one capital letter is occurring. S goes to epsilon, no capital letter. B goes to capital A small e, only one capital letter. Just see, only one capital letter, only one capital letter, only one capital letter. Here it is occurring in between, here it is occurring uh, at the end, here it is occurring in uh, at the beginning, isn't it? There is no restriction on its position. It may occur in beginning, it may occur in ending, it may occur in between. Even null strings are also allowed. There is no restriction on position of variable, but here only one restriction is at most one variable is allowed on right hand side of any production of the grammar. Therefore, such grammars can be treated as uh, as linear grammars. A regular grammar is always uh, linear, but not vice versa. Thank you very much.